Okay, hello dear friends. We have good harvest of uh, fig. Look at this beautiful fig. And we will make into jam. There is definitely no way we can finish them all at one time. So before it is rotten. So <clears throat> the recipe is, this is fig jam. Five pounds of fig with two pounds of sugar. This sugar looks a little bit strange, right? It's uh, organic sugar we bought in, in Costco. Five pounds of uh, fig and two pounds of sugar and one stick of real vanilla. Try to use real stuff, right? So you wash it and then cut it into small piece, cut it to two or four into four piece and then soak it, no water, soak with the sugar into this big pot for 10 minutes. This way the water from the uh, fig will come out and then we start to cook it. After 10 minutes soak into the sugar, cook for 30 minutes and then put in the vanilla bean. That's it. So simple. So we will start washing it. Okay. And this does not have any chemical. It's from our backyard tree. So it's quite uh, quite uh, uh, reliable. There is no chemical in it. There is no uh, fertilizer in it. No fertilizer, right? We didn't put any fertilizer. We didn't put any uh, pesticide. We didn't put. We didn't put anything on top of the <coughs> of the feed. And uh, by trying to avoid the birds and um, and insects, we have uh, um, a glittering line on top of it. So we are washing it and cut into small pieces. Now I will start to put a little bit of sugar, just like this layer of sugar, get it? And cut them all. Get rid of the 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 stem. The stem is actually very delicious if you eat it. But if you make into jam, sometimes it is hard, and uh, oftentimes we want to have a very smooth, um, very smooth jam. So you can cut it out. We just weight it with my shipping weighter. Way now we are. now I can put another layer of sugar on top of it. This is so good and it's very delicious. Okay, so this one give give a good job, Daba. So we are one fig less than five pounds actually. I'm eating this one, so I will put one tiny spoonful less of sugar to make it accurate. Oh, so good. Mm. It's so soft. Okay. <clears throat> Usually for making jam, you need uh, <clears throat> one part of fruit with one part of sugar by weight, not by volume. It's not easy to measure the volume um, because there is a room between the fruits by weight. For example, if you have one pound of uh, fruits, fruit, you put one pound of sugar. But fig, it's very sweet and not so watery. And also this one is a tree, um, a tree ripe. And we got it every day, we pick up some. So it's very, very, very sweet and uh, relatively dry. You do not need to put that much sugar. So this is why it uses 
five pounds of fig with one pound uh, uh, with two pounds of sugar. Okay, I will pause it and then we will start to add a layer of sugar. See you in a while. Okay, we are at the end of it. So put in the sugar. Then we will let it uh, rest for 10 minutes. It's okay it's a bit longer. We can go for dinner and uh, when we finish the dinner, we start to cook it. You will see it. Now I'm putting all the sugar in everywhere. Okay. Okay. Exactly one little spoonful shy of uh, yeah. Perfect. You can stir it a little bit, but not so necessarily. Just press it down whichever way it is touching it. So 10 minutes later we will start to cook it. Okay, this is 10 minutes later we will start to put the vanilla in and I didn't put any fire on it and it's still cold and still cold but uh, just by the sugar it's, uh, just by the sugar it uh, has this it, it has this exchange already so the water coming out we will use a very sharp knife it's better to use the very sharp knife good yeah peel it and then <coughs> you get the vanilla seed out and don't worry this vanilla stick you can put some sugar in the vanilla stick and make into vanilla sugar and this one you can also put it in just to boil it so we will start to put very 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 slow fire okay very very slow fire do not burn it It is full of flavor, this vanilla bean, and don't damage it. Okay. So cook it for 30 minutes in slow fire, and then we are done with it. See you later. Okay, this is a 30 minutes later. Uh, in order to make this video more educational and not wasting your time so I cut off the cooking time so you don't need to see that now I will take out the vanilla <coughs> and put this into the bottle
think we can get quite a some bottle of it. Five or I guess this will be eight bottles. Not so sure. To make it as full as you can so there is no room in between and uh, the closing you do not need to make it so strong closing actually because the air can absorb it I say this will be eight bottles so very lightly close it Okay. Five. I think we still have uh, three bottles left. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, we have to make sure the bottle is clean. We kill uh, the bacteria. We sterilize this, uh, this bottle and then take it all. Anything to show you to see if the the gem is made ready or not. So we will try on this white plate. You can see I have one good one little drop of it, and you see it is not running. It is not running, and also it firms a little uh, skin of it. If it is still running, it means there is too much water, but there is not much water. It's not running. I can put it backward and it very slowly, reluctantly run and with um, a skin on top of it. Then it means the confiture, the jam is okay. Make sure it is hot before you put into the pot this way. It can, <clears throat> when it is cooled down, it can my hand this is not useful for me Hot. 
there is only sugar and fruit and vanilla nothing else so mm, no jelly oh, oh it's only two bottles i made a wrong prediction this will be perfect for making your uh, to eat with yogurt so i can put my yogurt into this pot or just drink it okay perfect that's good seven bottle of it and this last one it is so delicious bon appetito seven bottles of wonderful wonderful homemade um, <clears throat> fig jam enjoy